Hey you guys, it's Carl's here. Welcome back to my channel. All right, so in today's video, I figure it would be actually a great day to take time to wrap up my kids' Christmas presents because they're not here and they still believe in Santa Claus. So I want to keep it that way. I'm not sure why I'm whispering because they're not even here. Anyway, so that is exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to sit down, chat, wrap up some Christmas presents, and then, yeah, let's see what happens. So if you are in the mood to see exactly what I'm being wrapped, no, wait, <laughs> see exactly what I'm going to be wrapping and what I got to keep on watching. Oh my God, it's already hot mess. All right, you guys, let's just go ahead, get into the, um, into our dining room area, and then we'll get started. Okay. All right, so as I mentioned, this is where I'm gonna be doing my Christmas wrapping today. So this is actually my dining room. I'm not sure if I've ever seen this or ever show this area before. So yeah, it's pretty small. I mean, it's, it is what it is. I got one Christmas tree over there. And here are all the, well, not all of them. Uh, I would say most of them for the kids, all their Christmas presents are right here. We didn't do a lot of Christmas shopping um, this year because in prior years, well, let me explain a little further. Let me, let me change the camera around so you can, you can see my face. Okay, so like prior years when we bought them presents, like we would get a lot of presents for them. I'm not going to lie, but it came to the point where like they were expecting, oh, another present, another present, another present. And I'm like, okay, A, they don't need that many presents. Let's just be completely honest. And secondly, a lot of them were just toys and you know, kids with their toys, they end up breaking them and then they forget about them and they sit in the corner. And I'm like, let's try to avoid that this year. Let's just get them one big gift. Um, well, okay, I'll explain a little further. Let's get them one big gift and maybe one small gift and that is it because um, it it just didn't make any sense. Even though the big gift this year, it is a little bit more pricier, but I think they'll get more use out of it and it's not gonna sit in the corner. That is our hope. That is our, <laughs> that is our hope is not gonna sit there. So as I was stating is that, okay, so prior years, obviously, when, when you buy Christmas presents or even birthday presents in general or just a gift in general, when you get them a child, like a toy, they're usually like stuck on that toy for maybe a week and then all of a sudden it's like, it's right there, it's broken, they don't care about it anymore, they're on to the next thing, you know, that's just with kids. It's, that's typically how it goes, right? So prior years we always buy like a bunch of toys and I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's just reel ourselves back in because it really isn't that necessary to do all that. I mean, it's great for a child to open up like all of these gifts, but then we have to realize, okay, well, A, it's kind of a waste of money because they're not playing with it anymore. And it almost comes off as that they're a little bit ungrateful, if that makes any sense. Not saying that the kids are ungrateful, but it can't come off that way once the toy is done being any use to them. Does that make any sense? I'm trying not to say this in a negative content, but I think as a parent, you know what I mean. Okay, one thing I will say is that this year we end up buying our, our not ours, but the kids' bus driver a little gift. Um, and the reason for that is actually he's been really nice this year, especially with our daughter. You know, this is her first time going to school. So it was kind of like, you know, for us as parents, it's nerve wracking, you know, especially when you're sending your child into K4 and they're getting used to like this whole routine, being on the bus, you know, giving them these huge, big responsibilities at such a young age at four years old, you know, going to school by yourself, being independent. That's a lot to ask of any child, let alone a four-year-old. So we end up buying um, some uh, a gift for our bus driver, or again, their bus driver, as a kind of like a thank you because he's very he's he's really polite, and um, it's just us, our kids, and one other kid in the neighborhood that gets picked up at this particular bus stop. There are other kids in their neighborhood that do get picked up. Um, just at this location, there's only four of them, and um, he always picks up the kids right in front of the house at times if he sees us running late. So that's really nice that he does that. He doesn't have to, but he does do that. So to show you, we went to Marshall's Home Goods and we went to TJ Maxx. And I bought this box and I thought it was so cute. Hopefully you guys can see it. Um, it's just, you know, it's already kind of like gift wrap in a sense. And then in the inside it does have this in there. Um, the box itself was like three bucks. I'm like, it's not a bad deal. Like if he wants to re-gift this, put something in here for somebody else. Cool beans is a win-win. So I definitely got to take that out or the sticker out, I should say. Then I bought this like, cause I didn't know what to get a guy 
especially because you don't know. He's an older gentleman, so I had no clue what to get him. So I ended up buying him, like, you can't go wrong, I believe, with, like, lip balms. Um, so I ended up getting him, like, this particular lip balm set. Um, it is for men. It was it was retailed for $4.99. That was really cute because it comes with a little stocking. And then I bought, which I've never tried this before, but I hear so many good things about this particular brand. It is the, I believe it's called Bag bag bomb hopefully you're able to see it there you guys go the bag bomb um i guess this is a limited edition holiday scent i guess i don't know but i got it for like four bucks hopefully there you guys go four dollars so i'm gonna put that in here with some candies let me reach excuse my reach so i got i got two of these like bags of candies they're like ginger chews um one is a sweet and spicy ginger and then <clears throat> excuse me my voice it is this spicy original. I'm not sure if you guys have these, but they're really good. And then this is the tropical mango. Um, these are actually really good as well. I got the bag. Each bag was like three forty nine. So what I'm going to end up doing because they're pre 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 wrapped little like little almost like kind of like cough drops in a sense. So I think I'm going to open them, put them a few in there, and then including in this box with those items. Then we end up, we end up, excuse me, buying some lottery tickets as well. So hopefully he'll enjoy that. I don't know. Hopefully he isn't a person that's against gambling either because I'm going to feel real bad. I just couldn't think of what to get somebody that you don't know, but you still want to give them a thank you gift. Does that make sense? I think it does. <laughs> okay, let's see how we're going to get this in here. Let's see if I can squish this in. Ooh, okay, perfect. All right, I already opened one of these bags, so let's toss some of these in here. Okay, now let's open this other bag, as I mentioned. This is the spicy ginger. Now, if he doesn't like them, okay, no big deal. It's only a few bucks, he can just give these away himself too. All right, so I think that's pretty good. So as I mentioned that I'm gonna end up putting like a lottery ticket in here. So again, I think that's a pretty good gift to give somebody like a bus driver, you know? But it's the thought that counts and that's what matters the most. All right, so let's get into the other unwrapping of the gifts. Okay, let me show you this really cute wrapping paper that I picked up at Marshall's. I think it was like 10 bucks, yeah, $10. You probably won't be able to see the uh, price tag. Anyways, it was $10, but I thought it was so adorable because it has like these uh, nutcrackers all around it. It is kind of glitter. You probably can't see it because of like the um, protective wrapping that's on it, the shrink wrapping, but it's super adorable. It kind of gives you off kind of like that crafty vibe because it's like paper, like, like newspaper feel. But then if you look at it, it has like these really gorgeous nutcrackers. Oh my God, it's pretty thin, I'm not gonna lie. But let me show you exactly how it looks like. See this? Super, super cute, I love it. Okay, so the first gift I'm gonna wrap is actually gonna be for my oldest son. But yeah, I got him this thing from Amazon. It's pretty cool. Hopefully you guys are able to see it, but what it is, is that it is a 3D LED puzzle. But it's the shape of like a pirate ship and it's so awesome. Like hopefully the camera's picking it all up but I've seen reviews on Amazon and I'll include a link in the description field below. It's really cheap. It was like only like $41. It was on sale. And even when it's not on sale, it's normally like 45. That's still not a bad deal. But if you saw the pictures from other people's reviews, it's beautiful. And then they come up, um, they actually have other like models as well. But this is the one that I end up picking up. So that is the back of it. But again, look at the inside, I mean, not the inside, the cover of it. It's like, it looks like a beautiful ship. And just the way you see it is the way it comes out. It's not like a puzzle you lay flat. It's a puzzle, like 3D, like a big old sculpture. So I'm sure he's going to love that. All right, so let me go ahead and start wrapping this sucker up. I am not going to lie. I wish this wrapping paper had lines because I am not the greatest at cutting wrapping paper. It always comes out so jagged. <laughs> and then I'm having to bend the edges of the paper just so that it looks clean. But I do really appreciate it when wrapping paper companies do print on the opposite side, like a guide as to where you can cut. I don't know about you, but for me, it is so beneficial. 
Now the bad thing I've noticed about this type of um, paper with the glitter, even when you use tape, sometimes the glitter does not help the tape to stick on. So you may end up having to use multiple pieces of tape just to get a good stick. Okay, so my daughter is crazy about like coloring, drawing, cutting up things. Kind of like, I don't know, like arts and crafts type of thing. But anyways, so I ended up going to the dollar store picking up like coloring books. So I figured, you know, like, well, it's technically not a dollar anymore, right? <laughs> anyways, so I ended up picking up like three coloring books. And then I bought like this like art supply kit, I guess, to keep like markers, pens, crayons, rulers all in like one folder or something like that anyway so it came like in this like like pre-packaged box but the bot the, the 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 binder that it came in is super adorable okay so it comes like this right it has like a little zipper on this side right here super cute i already opened it um just to simply like unwrap everything and then i put it all in here um, but it comes like a like this coloring book right here super cute I can't remember how much I paid for it to be completely honest um, So we got some markers right here a little one of those mechanism mechanism pins with like different colors and then coloring pencils We got some erasers crayons uh, pencil sharpener ruler um, It's just super adorable and I I know she's going to go crazy over this so that's one of her like little smaller gifts that we got for her, but it's super cute. Again, anything that I've listed that I mentioned that I got from like Amazon, I'll, I'll include a link in the description field so that you can check it out for yourself. And who knows, maybe you'll see something that, you know, you have a grand um, granddaughter, grandson, or your, or your own children that may like this stuff because it's how we learn things about like word of mouth and stuff like that. Anyways, so I can't wait to wrap this up and show her for Christmas, like what Santa got her, I think she's gonna have like a ball with this. Okay, so my daughter loves doing her nails right now. Like she's like on this nail kick. <laughs> of course, she's a little girl, so why not? Um, I ended up buying her this from like Marshalls. It, it's like nothing but, hopefully this picks up. It's the little nail polishes. It's, <clears throat> can't lose my voice here. Nail polish, nail, nail polishes. I can't say the word. Um, apparently it says right here that it is kid friendly. Hopefully it picks up it is, I'm using my vlogging camera right now. It's kid friendly. It is water based. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to put this like in a gift bag probably because I'm waiting for like this kid um, nail dryer to come from Amazon. So this can go as an asset. So at least this way she's not here doing this with her nails. She can put it under like the little hand nail dryer that's specially designed for kids with like smaller hands. So I can't wait to get that. So yeah, got that for her. Now the last gifts that we got for um, our kids, well to the boys, to the younger boys, they got like um, baseball gloves and it came with like its own baseball, but it was like a really like soft baseball. So it's perfect for them to be in the front. So they're not going to break anything. So we got that for them. But the main overall gift, like their big, big gift, each of the kids, we have four. <laughs> if you're a friend to my channel, you know we have four kids. Um, one daughter, three boys, 14, and then the other two are very close in age. So um, the younger kids, especially our daughter, keeps asking for my spouse to use his Nintendo Switch. I'm like, no, you're going to break that. You know, we, we just don't let them play with the Nintendo Switch. It's no. Anyways, so we figured, you know what, like I mentioned earlier in the video, let's cut back from all of the gift buying, take with the money that we would have spent and buy a bigger gift. So each of the kid is getting a, a Nintendo Switch. Um, now, a Nintendo Switch Lite, let me restate that because a Nintendo Switch is slightly different in price point versus um, the Nintendo Switch Lite. I mean, I think, Nintendo. don't quote me, I'm going off of memory, I think Nintendo Switch is like three something. Um, a Nintendo Switch Lite is 200. Um, so yeah, it's still a lot of money, especially for four kids, but we figured, you know, the amount of money that we would have spent on their gifts individually with all the little smaller toys that they would end up throwing them in the corner, it only made more logic sense to get them each individually. And at first we're like, well, let's just get one and they can share. But it's like, really, that's not, mm, we're, we're looking at arguments starting to happen. So if we got them their own, I think that would be best. So 
Um, we got pink, we got two teak, teak turquoise and one blue. And then for the smaller kits, we end up getting like these protective um, covers for the Nintendo Switch lights. Yeah, you know, you know, when you have kids, they're always dropping something. So we got them that. Um, we got them all from Amazon. The Amazon price, let me put you down, um, was 200 a piece for the Nintendo Switch. So, I mean, it's still a lot, but that's pretty much the same price point that you would have found, like at Walmart or um, Target, but they were always sold out. So I got lucky that I was able to find them on Amazon. Now, let me show you the games I ended up picking up for them as well. Okay, so for the kids, we end up buying two games a piece. So hopefully that should keep them somewhat content until later. And we made sure that when we bought the games that the games were only going to be $20 or less. We didn't want to splurge too much on the games. So all of them are from Amazon. So we got <laughs> Amazon, I tell you. I, I wish they were sponsored this video, but it's not sponsored. <laughs> uh, we got this Adams Family um, game, um, Mansion Mayhem. We got Super, what is it called? Super Monkey Ball, Ban Banana Mania, I don't know. Um, I forgot who is this who, so I have to rethink about this in a minute. So we got Mario, what is this? Mario, Rabbit, Spark, and Hop. Am I saying that right? So we got that. We got Paw, Paw Patrol, who, tell them. everyone knows who Paw Patrol is. We got Paw Patrol. This is actually for going to be for my daughter, I believe, if I remember correctly. And then we got Nickelodeon's Kart Racers, of course, with SpongeBob. And then we got we got my friend Peppa Pig, of course, my daughter. My daughter loves Peppa Pig. Now, for our older son, um, there's another game that we ordered, but it's on the way, for, also from Amazon. But the other game that we um, ordered for him, it is this, and it has really good reviews, surprisingly. Um, it is <laughs> it is the Friday the Thirteenth the game. Not sure if it picked up because. Again, I'm using a different camera, so my apologies. Um, yeah, so I've seen a lot of good reviews on here, so I'm hoping it's a good game. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap all of this for them. You know, one thing I did notice though, when I was at the mall, um, well, two, we got four malls within our area. One of them is doing quite well. The other three are pretty much like, no one really goes to them. Um, and then I went to a mall earlier this week and it was like completely just like a desert. There was nobody inside. There was a very, it, it was like, there was older people there who are normally doing their, their walks and stuff like that or in the, oh, in the, in the food court, only two restaurants were open. And keep in mind, I used to work at that mall when I was in my early twenties at a retail store. And it, that mall would be so packed that you like you're literally having to dodge people, and it's like nobody was there, even though it had a theater there. But then again, a theater, excuse me. But then again, I did go during the day, but still, nonetheless, there was nobody in there, and I was like, oh my god. And I was asking my spouse, is it normally like this? Because sometimes when he works out of the office, his office is actually across a parking lot from that particular mall, and he goes, yeah. When I come up here, sometimes for lunch. There's nobody in the mall. And the only anchor store that's currently in that mall at this moment is JCPenney's. And JCPenney's, surprisingly, is actually doing quite well from the looks of it. It's doing quite well from the outside because I see tons of cars, but I don't know if that's the employees. Um, but when I've gone to that JCPenney's, it's pretty busy. So that's a pretty good sign for at least JCPenney's. Um, they still have some pretty name brand, or not, I don't want to say name brand, but familiar like anchor store, not anchor stores, but familiar stores. Um, but I was pretty shocked to see how, how quiet it was. Um, and then there's another mall that's within our, uh, within our area. The difference between that mall, I would suggest, or state is that they have some random stores I've never heard of. So it's pretty much like local businesses that kind of came in to take the vacancy, if that makes any sense. It's a sad shame. And I was hoping to find some type of deals within the malls as I was walking around. There was no deals. I felt like it was Christmas because of decorations, but there was no Christmas sales going on. I'm like, what is going on here? I don't know. I just thought I would share that. I thought, I'm not sure if I'm the only one who goes to a mall and who's seen this. There's a lot of dying malls out there. I mean, I came and go to, look at all these games. like. Remember back in the day when you can go to to uh, Toys R Us or KB Toy Store? I, I know I just completely dated myself. 
and or even GameStop. GameStop used to have a lot more locations, and you can buy and go there for strictly for the games. And no, you kind of you're kind of like forced to now go online shopping, which totally sucks. Okay, so just in case if you are curious as to how like the other game systems look like, just in case, I don't know, maybe maybe you're not. Um, so the turquoise ones look like the. I got it upside down. It looks like this one right here. So that's, I got two of these. And then the blue one, to be honest, it doesn't look blue to me. It looks kind of like a purplish color. So I got that one right here. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, how much was that all together to really think about it? I mean, wait, one, two, wait, one, four, six, it's $800. I'm not gonna say that's, that's cheap. By no means it's not. I know that's a lot of money, I get it. Um, but at the same time, I also know that the amount of money that I that we end up spending last year on gifts was pretty crazy. So I think we've actually saved a lot more money this way. Surprisingly, I would say about a thousand. Yeah, because we were buying Christmas gifts since like June and July and going into August. We we're just buying Christmas gifts, buying Christmas gifts and putting them away. And then afterwards, like. Was this really necessary? No. Um, just because it's clearance doesn't always mean it's a good deal because when it's clearance, you tend to buy more, which you then causes you to spend more the money. Does that make any sense? I don't know, I could just be talking out of my culo. All right, you guys, I really enjoy our conversations that we had today. Sorry, this is a different video. I just thought I would just sit down, wrap up some gifts. I'm gonna finish wrapping up the rest of them, but I figure I'll just let you guys go because I know I talked a lot. I just really wanted to sit down and have a conversation with you guys. But if you haven't done so already, and if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. To, to, <laughs> to, to, oh, I cut it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell as well. So anytime I upload new video, you automatically get the notifications. And give my video a thumbs up because I greatly appreciate it. But until then, make sure to brush your teeth, wash your culo, and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. And always remember, don't be a cochina también. <laughs> you don't know what that means? <laughs> Look it up. Don't be a cochina, okay? Don't be a cochina. <laughs> Bye now. Take care.